favorite redhead, the mother of my children, ladies and gentlemen, Lucille Ball. I wanted to get as far away as possible. My parents had these audio tapes. Hello, hello. Hi there. He said, that's Lucille Ball. And I said, oh, man, that's a hunk of woman. I was madly in love with Desi. I've never felt that way about anyone before. No one wanted him to play my husband because he was Cuban, and they wanted a real American couple. The only reason I Love Lucy exists is because they wanted to be together. A cubita bella. Uh, la caen. <laughs> they established their own studio. That's an enormous operation. Desi Lu was responsible for some of the greatest television of the 20th century. She was fearless. You realize that women could do this too. We had no idea Desi Lu was going to become what it was. Work became our whole life. There was a cost to the success. Communist infiltration in Hollywood. A lot of witch hunting at the time. His work was harder. I worked, I worked too much. I drank, I drank too much. I couldn't live that way. She didn't want to quit. After all, there's no business like show business. You may quote me. <laughs> you see, when we worked, we were happy. I Love Lucy built every episode around that idea of fracture and coming back together. And I think we crave that as humans. No matter what you've done, I forgive you. Will you still love me? You don't necessarily have to be a funny person to get a laugh. Beautiful. I'm not a funny person. Will you still love me? The show was one of the most wonderful things happened in my life. My we brought the rafters down. At the core, it's all about unconditional love.